Hello, I just have to grab the guitar and once again I'm not going to do a lot of talking, I think. All the talking I've been doing in the videos, ah shit, I hope, I hope fuck. Uh, I think that it's bad. Bad to talk too much in the videos. And Melissa is still here. She just moved out of the way so I could film from this angle. And I guess I have a good sized basement, but um, it's kind of narrow. Uh, I guess you always want more space. Uh, so, I said I wouldn't talk too much. Oh, totally, but a minute. Yeah, okay, to work. Someone said, I, I can't help but talk. Someone said, uh, oh, I forgot. Oh, someone said that it might be monotonous just to practice learning all the chords and that working towards learning a song um, is beneficial. And I've thought about that a lot. And yes, I think I do want to learn a song eventually, but I have no, it might be boring to the viewers, but I have, I'm not bored by um, doing this just repeating the same things. Because I find after the strum, my fingers loosen, and uh, you probably heard it if the mic picked it up well enough. So, what is this? I'm going to look at my chart. This is A7. So I go like, I go like this. And then my fingers are in a good place where I can just go like this. And there's Check what it is. So let's do. So if we're forming a pattern of every day we start from the top and then go through the pattern, and it's not a pattern that's creating a song, but it's a pattern of memorization. So the pattern could go. Usually I like to go here, uh, this is uh, D major, too closed. I usually like to go there next, 
um, just because that's the order I memorized. Then I shift to D minor. And then I may as well shift to D7. See, my chart, I, I've posted it, if you're watching this, unless you're watching this in the future and it's disconnected. Um, I've recently been adding the sevens. Uh, so the sevens are new things that I need to memorize. <laughs> Melissa is dancing. <laughs> uh, the sevens are new things I need to memorize. Um, and the majors and the minors, there's eight of those which I pretty much have memorized. So eight ones that I pretty much have by memory and five ones which I'm trying to commit to mem memory. Okay, so we've done D, D minor. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Then I used to go to C, which is, for me, for some reason, it's easy the first time I do it, and every other time I do it in the future, it gets harder. And one closed. but that's the really complicated one. So I might want to look up what C minor is and add that to the chart. And then we have A, which uh, sometimes I have difficulty with one closed. finger meets the hand, it grabs onto the fretboard and it mutes the first string. And that skill might come in handy for other chords if I ever had to mute that string for whatever reason. Um, but when I'm doing A, um, it's almost like a closed fist and I need to keep it open yet still I need to keep it open yet still press hard because the nature of uh, the strings being close together means I have to uh, go further away from these things, which I think are called, are called tangs, but I, I don't know. Uh, so yes, I'm, I use, before I was incorporating the sevens, I would, uh, that's actually a interesting thing on my finger. It's like a cross, because apparently I help my finger different ways for different notes, so that's kind of interesting. And uh, those indentations are by form the scabs, or the, what do you call it? The calluses. Yeah, so, anyways, um, so I usually, and when I was just working on the eight 
scales that I know. I usually end on G and G is best achieved if you like fingers like the middle part of your finger the knuckle if you push it up as possible um, but then I have to also make sure to push on the pinky which is very weak see that first note the first string which was being pushed on the pinky did not obtain the desired goal and now I'm muting other strings with other hands so just shake that off I think and go from the beginning again so that finger has to be there that finger has to be there that finger has to be there and that has to be there and let's hope I'm not muting. See the and then when I when I do get it in that correct position, um I get my pinky is finally getting a callus. But when I do get in that position and then I I, I lay my uh, hands down in order of uh, index being first, but sometimes, like in this case, the middle finger is the first I would lay down. But, so I'd lay down the middle finger, the f index finger, the ring finger, and by the time I get to the pinky, the pinky squeals out in pain, and um, my grip on the other fingers becomes less. So let's reposition a bit and up. And so that has to be up and that has to be down time to explain to you I might have been more successful because I have pulled off that um, finger combination before uh, some of it has to do with the flexibility of my hand and also one day uh, my hand itself became uh, tired I could feel it like he I could feel it here the fact that the muscles were being used and needed rest, and of course my uh, the tops of my fingers need rest because I'm a beginner or a newbie or whatever. So yeah, uh, D seven. Easy enough, probably easiest unless you want to say A7 is the easiest I think G7 G major is hard at least this graph that I have seems to be different from other graphs um, this graph I have for G major it says to use both of these two fingers and on other graphs uh, one of these two fingers isn't used 
So I don't know if you just get like a, a better sounding uh, strum out of using both fingers. When I do it successfully, it, it feels good. But anyways, my point is G7 is, I think, well, you got to do this long stretch, but I think it's not quite uh, as difficult. So, let's say that is G7. That's doable. E7. And so I have all of the E's are easy. We'll come to C7, which is the last one on my graph in a bit, but I just the E's go from, <laughs> they, they are, the, the, the musical note is called E, and a combination of E is called E's, so the E's are easy, I, I don't know, mm. someone else probably figured that out before. <laughs> appeared that I had difficulty with that, but I, the, my impression of this finger combination, once you get it right and once you do it a few times, I'm sure I'll come to that easily. So I could scale through, um, oh, well I could just do this. Where, Basically, I could go... Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> if I had more experience in my life of knowing which fingers were which, I don't really think about, I, it's uh, partly hand-eye coordination and it's partly um, just uh, remembering which finger you're using, but if I had more experience, uh, maybe I'm a little sleepy is the reason, but That's all the E's, uh, and that's something I could practice doing, doing E major, E minor, E7, and on this website, uh, for, if you set it to be beginners, there's also something called 5, so I could, I haven't looked up the 5's yet. But uh, I could go major, minor, seven, five, and then if you become more advanced, there's even more. Um, so I could go through a lot of different variations of the same note. And also, there's stuff called like the Lydian scale, which I don't really know what that means yet, um, and I don't know when I'll know. Like assuming. 
I'd say I'm pretty committed to this since I've been uploading videos um, for almost a month straight, um, like daily, um, and multiple videos per day. But of course I never know if I'll just like, when eventually just say, oh, I, I, don't, I don't have time for this. I hope that doesn't happen, but so if I do continue at this state, this state I'm at is probably a little fast, uh, but if I do continue with the guitar for the rest of my life, I'll probably figure out what the Lydian scale means and the other scales. And uh, I said I wouldn't talk, but that was talk about music, so I think that's okay. So um, I'm going to do C7. So how do we do this? Is this... Yeah, this is four fingers. Oh, okay. I seem to remember last time I tried to do this, I decided it was too complicated. Is it four fingers? One, two, three, four. So, yeah, they're, they're, I don't know whether to do this or this. I think this, oh. <laughs> And I, I've seen, and I've maybe even, someone did this to me once, I don't remember, but like an instructor will like grab your hand and push your fingers into the right position. And I think that happened to me like once and just the shock of being grabbed, I was like, whoa, I don't want this. So I have to do this by myself. Um, basically harder than even G major. So, yeah, you can see here what I'm trying to do. I think if you have good, I, I, I don't know how good this camera angle is. Maybe it needs to be closer. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make a small attempt to do that every day and not worry about it too much because it's really, really hard and I'll just frustrate myself. <coughs> <coughs> Which is, I think, what happened when I first started teaching myself G major. Um, and maybe the fact that I devote so little time to the hard stuff that's part of the reason why I'm not getting better at it. But, uh, so this is G major. See, I paused there at the end just to make sure the pinky was pressing down. So. become easier with just blunt repetition um, and uh, because yeah I was no I, I basically almost got it there like maybe if you think so um, so just blunt repetition it'll get easier meanwhile I'll I'm blunt repetitioning E major, which uh, to me is the easiest. And if I quit and came back to this a year later, I'd probably still know E major. Um, that is E major, right? I don't, this is E minor. Anyways, um, uh, this is my foundation, I guess. Uh, 
so we could try and then I go like <laughs> see my head but basically I was uh, doing that trying to get from correct posture to correct posture for, from memory as fast as possible and uh, obviously that was too slow to if I were to write or learn a song based on those chords that I know um, it's too slow um, for even slow moving music. Um, and I think there's like metal or speed metal. They have like, uh, they have an obsession with um, going as fast as possible and knowing as much as possible. Um, I don't really know, that's not my favorite genre. Um, so, uh, Yeah, so I'll, I was just... <laughs> these two. Something about that. Different. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't doing something right. through these chords as fast as I can. Um, I'm allowing myself to make mistakes and to mute things uh, just for the sake of just knowing what I should be doing and maybe I'm learning a bad habit of like I'm learning how to get to the note and by getting to the note I'm muting but I'm also memorizing uh, I don't know I'm too dumb to know how it works, but somehow I'm smart enough to know it's something I should do. Uh, I think it's based on the advice of others that I know this. Um, so, yeah, we were going to go like this. I expected myself to know it more than I did, and I think um, I expected my memory to, yeah, but see if my memory knows this. Yeah, 
Yes, it does. So my memory knows those very loosely. That does it. There's probably science for the scientific words to explain the power of the strength of the memory, but I don't know what those words are. <coughs> and um, I'll just fool around a little bit one more time, and then I'll end this video. <laughs> So that, that's all I'm going to do.